Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds in the welterweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Mosley's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. Ricky Hatton's showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. A few years ago, Ricky Hatton was named the Fighter of the Year. Now potentially a Fight of the Year fight because he's going up against a power puncher with bad intentions. Well, talking about going up, if you want to climb that boxing ladder that I like to talk about, get to the top, you're going to have to deal with guys who can bang a little bit. Hatton is going to have to show some defense tonight. Nothing there on the punch by Ricky Hatton. <laughs> he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. He had too many things clogging his head. Halfway through round number one, Hatton's punch is far off the target. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Mosley's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Good way to protect the midsection. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Mosley able to block that punch. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Up. 
And that's the end of round one. The hitman's putting forth an effort, but he's not being effective in that regard. No, he's not. He's not landing when he needs to land. And it kind of reminds he's a banger, too. He can punch a little. It reminds me of an old saying that a trainer once told me. It doesn't mean anything to have a big punch. It's kind of like having a military weapon, a bomb. What good is it if you don't have a missile to get it to the target? Right now, he needs a missile to get that punch. He needs to set it up, and he's not doing that. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Ricky Hatton blocks that punch. Mosley scoring with that right Let hand. Go. Sugar Shane going to that hook and doing it well. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Sugar Shane Mosley's hit by a right hand. Wow, I like what he's doing right here, Teddy. He's just taking control of this fight. Hurt his opponent already. Now he's pushing him around, trying to get another shot in. Yeah, he wants to get full leverage. He wants to get him right in a position where he can nail him a shot and finish this. And at the beginning of every Ricky Hatton fight, he gets a real charge right from the gate as the Manchester City Soccer Club song Blue Moon is played, and he charges down to the ring. Yes, he does. You know, there's a similarity to a country that's not far away logistically to England, and that's Ireland. I remember Barry McGuigan years ago, same kind of atmosphere. Those fans would show up, and they would sing, they would sing the name of Barry McGuigan. Halfway through round number two. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And he ties up on the inside. Able to dismiss that body shot. Protecting his head well with his guard. He just missed that shot up top. Keep moving, keep moving. Able to cover up that gut. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Ricky at Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Ricky Hatton's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And that's the end of round two. Hatton's well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to, to stop the bleeding on that right? cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. You don't use it enough. Beautiful. Nice movement there. Keep that up. Keep moving. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Hadn't able to block a punch. A hat and hook.
You know, we're early in this fight, but Hatton's energy may come into question soon. He's throwing a lot of punches, Teddy. Yeah, and his mental energy, too. I'm wondering if he's getting a little discouraged that his opponent is not showing a lot of effect from all those shots. Keep working the body. Keep moving. Teddy, how Keep do you moving. define Ricky Hatton's style as a fighter? You know, it's a little deceptive. You know, he gives you the kind of idea, the kind of thought that he never stops coming, that you're in the middle of a rainstorm, and boy, oh boy, it just keeps pelting down on you. But he can do a little better on the inside sometimes. He gets inside, and sometimes he stops his own work. He covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Mosley's out there clinching, and that may tell us, as well as his okay. opponent, that his legs aren't necessarily underneath him. No, and they're not, and that's why he's clinching. He's got to do more than just clinch. He's going to have to find a way to kill a little more time, maybe grab and then walk a little bit. Walk to the other side of the ring before the referee can get there and kill some clock. <laughs> Body shot, left hand. Unable to connect by Sugar Shane Mosley. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Work. Nice work. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And that does it for this round. You're in control of this. Keep it up. Nice work. You got any more of these? I'll do one. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Come on. Uh, you got to breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not winning. Mosley's off to a really good start tonight. This is the first time we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see that he has it a clean sweep through three rounds. He missed with that headshot. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Mosley's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Flush blow, the left hand by Sugar Shane Mosley. There you go. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Mosley's able to avoid that punch. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Is Hatton flawed defensively? Yeah, a little bit. You know where he's flawed a little bit is, first of all, offensively. I know that sounds crazy, but it mixes in with the defense because part of his defense is offense. He doesn't consistently work or fight when he gets inside. He gives you a little bit of a break, and sometimes he reaches in a little bit. He gives you about a two-foot distance where you can catch him as he's reaching. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Huh. 
Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that once. Keep working the jab. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. You got it. That's a big right hand. Engages in the clinch. You're doing great. Blocks that punch. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. <laughs> and that's the end of round four. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth time. of the situation. The That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end the fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll them. He's got to blow on them. He's got to do everything. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Where's your body work? Hit the body. You watch the water in the corner. Too much. Considering the fact that in the last round he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Fires right back at him. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. To the head he goes with a left hand. Sugar Shane Mosley's banged around by a big uppercut. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Ricky Hatton's putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher. But, Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. And what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and, hey, he might not win the fight. He can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Come on, in focus. Uppercut. Not much action as he just ties up. What is it that you've really admired about Shane Mosley in the ring? Well, first of all, his presence, hey, you know, his confidence. He kind of commands the stage, so to speak. He understands when he's in there that he can handle anything that's in front of him. He has great speed. You have to like that. And he has the ability to go after you, but he can step back. He can counter well. Ricky Hatton's been hurt. Big shot. He is down. Now, can he beat the count? Ricky Hatton back up on his feet. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Punch! Punch! Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Jump on him! Nice! Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. And the round comes to an end. 
In between rounds here, Hatton's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. Tighten up your punch. A new round underway here. The hitman's hoping that he doesn't make a defensive throw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can Here's see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Keep moving, keep moving. Not an accurate hook at all. Relax, relax. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Finish with the hook. Speed up to the move. Oh, what a whiff by Ricky Hatton. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Ricky Hatton's looking for a way to get this fight back on course, a course that can get him a victory. This isn't it, just trying to counterpunch in these middle rounds. No, this is not it. He's not thinking right. You know, it's one thing to say physically, technically, he needs to do that. But to do it, you have to be mentally clear. You have to be seeing the plan, seeing what you have to do, what you have to order your body to do. He's not seeing that right now. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. This round is in the books. And it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Well, he looks fresh and ready to go here. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Punch, punch. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Let's see some defense. Hmm. Hey, 
Mosley's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on. Ricky Hatton's hurt by a big shot. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? Stopping this fight, Sugar Shane Mosley's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.